Hi, recently I have successfully completed Azure Data Engineer DP200 certification from Microsoft. In this video, I am going to share about my experience. Also, some of my friends, freshers, colleagues and reached me about this certification. Uh, they want to know how to prepare for this certification. They had questions like what is the right Azure certification for me? What are the benefits if I do this certification? How to prepare for this certification? And they want to know various tips and tricks to pass this exam. First, what is the right Azure certification for me? For, there are various categories of uh, Azure fundamentals is the first one. If you are a fresher, if you have no knowledge about the cloud, or if you are a delivery manager, or if you are a pre-sales manager, then Azure Fundamentals is the right one. Second one is Azure Data Engineer. If you are already working with the data like uh, ETL tools or SQL, uh, if you are already have some experience with the Java and Python development, then Azure Data Engineer is the right one. Uh, third one is Azure Data Scientist. If you are passionate about data science and machine learning algorithms, then Azure Data Scientist is the right one. And next one is Azure AI Engineer. If you are uh, interested to learn more about artificial intelligence tools like uh, speech to text uh, recognition, then Azure AI Engineer is the right one. Microsoft also provided various role-based Azure certifications. Uh, Azure Data Management and Analytics uh, is the more demanding one. All these four categories falls into this category. To complete the Azure Data Engineer certification, either you can start with Azure Fundamentals or you can directly go to the Azure Data Engineer certifications. Azure Fundamentals is the optional one. Basically, Azure Data Engineer certification has two exams. First one is DP200, implementing Azure Data Solutions, and second one is DP201, designing Azure Data Solutions. What are the various benefits? Uh, if you want to stay up to date with the latest technology or if you are expecting some promotion, or if you want to change your career, or if you want to switch your company, or if your company is sponsoring for the examination, then you can do this certification. How do I prepare for the examination? Uh, basically, I spent around three months daily, one hour, and around two to three hours for during weekends for this exam. There is no need of any programming coding language. Basic concepts in networks, servers, database is enough. I wrote mock test before actual exam and got 90%. Uh, I have provided here various uh, concepts, uh, links to the um, concepts. Basically, you can go through these all these concepts. You definitely expect at least two to three questions from each of these links. Hands-on labs. Uh, this link provides various exercises to practice hands-on lab. Uh, you can create free tire account from Azure, Microsoft. Uh, you will get 12 months pre popular services. You can practice all these exercises. Uh, also, you can go through the various case studies uh, on architecture in different domains. Uh, also, you can go through the YouTube videos. Here, I am going to provide various uh, practice questions and uh, overview about the exam. Exam has around uh, 45 to 60 questions. Uh, it varies from uh, exam to exam and uh, total marks is 1000 you need to get 700 marks to pass this exam i have provided approximate breakup of the exams there are around five questions scenario based questions uh, there are around 10 uh, multiple choice questions and there are around matching questions 10 and also sequencing of steps uh, if you want to design or uh, architect uh, a solution you need to sequence the steps uh, there are around 10 questions and uh, there are around eight questions about the case study uh, you will get free practice questions around 15 on the Vizlab website you can practice all those questions uh, in exam uh, i got questions about azure blob storage two to three questions azure data bricks uh, around four questions azure uh, sql db two to three questions azure synapses analytics around five questions azure cosmos db around five questions and azure streaming around four to five questions azure data factory around four to five questions security and monitoring around four to five questions uh here i am going to talk about various tips and tricks uh there is no negative marking for the exam uh basically you can answer all the questions that we are sure and you can mark for review if you are not sure any of the exam don't be panic uh and uh, you can come back and answer those questions you can schedule your exam uh, in advance and uh, start preparing for the exam good luck for your exam